The government was given another reminder today of the political dangers of neglecting the countryside. Research by the Countryside Agency, which advises ministers, says many communities now face real problems. It warns that low wages and a serious lack of services mean many people living in rural areas feel isolated and excluded. Mary Gotts knows how tough life in a rural area can be. She lives with her two-year-old son Daniel in a council house in the village of Higher Heath. Here there's no doctor or school or post office. The nearest are two miles away. One, uh, you have to rely on public transport, which is totally unreliable. Two, I cannot afford to have a car. And three, the problems with having a child as well. Because of where she lives, Marie can't get a job. Without a car or reliable public transport, she couldn't get to work. But if she did work, today's report says she'd probably be badly paid. Rural wages are the lowest in England. Every year, more services are closing down. 43% of rural parishes have no post office. 70% have no store. 75% no daily bus service. And 83% no doctor. And for most young people, there's no chance of a private house. Prices are being pushed up by outsiders. What's happening is people are, are moving, wanting to live in the countryside. They're coming out from towns or they're coming up from the south and they can afford to pay more for the houses than local people can. So the houses are therefore unaffordable to local people. There are advantages. You're likely to be healthier if you live in the countryside. And if you're relatively well off, then your quality of life is likely to be better. But the report says if you're on a low income, then life is tough. Behind the rosy facade, says the report, there are serious causes for concern. In Norton in Hales, there's still a church, but the shop and post office are gone. The report says people should be entitled to basic standards. That may involve um, attendance at crime, it may involve distances from health services, it may involve um, all sorts of other issues such as transport and IT delivery. Um, but it's also a question of, 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 of us talking to the various deliverers of service, public and private, and trying to get them to set targets. The study says the crisis in agriculture is much to blame. This Norton farmer is laying off his workers and joining a growing number who are selling up and emigrating to Canada. I've been here 25 years myself and the family's been here for over a hundred years and four generations. Um, it's going to be an awful wrench getting out of here. The report paints a bleak picture of rural life in the new millennium but concludes the decline can be reversed. Margaret Gilmore, BBC.